Hey Gail. Well Kat, look what we have here. Yes, we have the Capresso four cup espresso cappuccino machine. Yep, it's a steam machine. A steam machine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I kind of liken this to a mocha pot. Yeah, stove top. Yeah. Because yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be really similar where you have your extraction via steam. Yeah, it's not gonna have a um, a crema on or anything like mm -mm. that, but it's gonna be hot black strong coffee. Yeah, and so they say this is a four cup, so you technically can get um, enough coffee and milk because it's a because it's a steam machine. Mm -hmm. It's pretty it does powerful. Good steam. We'll see. Okay, so, so I'm gonna turn it on. So the on off buttons. Well, first off, what you want to do? Let yes. Me let me show. In here, you put the water. Come on. There. You okay. put the water down in there. Put the lid on. And this has a big old gasket in here because this is going to be under a lot of pressure because mm -hmm. it is a steam machine. So, yeah. So the first thing is that is do that. Why don't you show the coffee and too? You got to as well have your coffee ready to go in the porta filter, and you yes. can do two or four cups. And the and it recommends a uh, medium espresso grind. And you have to have this in place because if you don't, steam comes out of the port the brew head and it won't build up pressure. Yes. And you put your little cup under there mm -hmm. and when it builds up pressure so we're going to take it over here do, do you turn that right away Kat, or do you wait for it to get up to pressure no you do it right away you okay, start it gotcha. that way so this is this is the intensity if you don't want it as strong you go over here but we mm -hmm. want it intense yes and it when it gets up ahead of steam it's going to start coming out all by itself and when yes. you get what you want turn it over to um, the steam position and then start steaming and then you can start steaming Okay. We didn't get uh, some milk. Well, okay. let's do that. Let's, <laughs> let's heat, let it heat up and we'll pause. Yeah. Okay, so the machine is on and it's building up steam right now. I can hear it. Yeah, so I thought my, I might like watch yeah. so people will know how, how long it may take for this to yeah. all go down. So, what are you going to do this weekend, Kat? Work. Oh, that's right. You're going on vacation. <laughs> I am. Lucky you. I Hi, am. No, Gail. I love you, but not that much. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, that was one thing is you don't tamp the coffee as well. Nope. No tamping. Mm -mm. And the coarseness of the grind is a medium. Yeah, it's not as fine as espresso. Yeah. it's It really <clears throat> is similar to the grind you use in a mocha pot and a stove top. Is this like grass growing? It is. Hmm. So the inside of the um, porta filter has two lines that says two or four. We filled ours up to the four line, but you could do two if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, the boiler in this, just for information, is aluminum. Okay. And it's just going to keep rocking it. It's just going to keep pushing uh, yep. water through via the steam and... Look, it's up to our four cups. <clears throat> So it's not, it doesn't take a lot. Once the pressure gets going, it starts to really kind of rapidly fill. So you can tell that the consistency is, you know, it's kind of a hybrid. It's not a, it's not a traditional espresso. Mm -mm. This is riveting. It is. <laughs> it's got our attention anyway. <laughs> Look at that. It's got like foam, like a. Yeah, it's kind of like a drip. Foamy. Foamy kind of thing. Yeah. Because it's it's still going to have some element of crema, right, with the pressure and the and the um, fat and the beans. Mm-hmm. I just had an not old steam machine when that was my first one back in the seventies, and it was a lot like this. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember it having any foam on the top like that. So it's building up pretty rapidly here. Mm-hmm. Do you want to get your milk story ready? So what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to flip over the switch momentarily, and then Gail's got her. Yep, trusty more. milk pitcher. Okay. Or if you want to move over, yeah. we'll switch sides. Sure. So I'm it's thinking, looking pretty good. I'm thinking we're ready. Yeah. Okay. Now watch it, Gail. Don't open that valve up all the way because it will. Do I have to purge any? <laughs> Not really. No, I didn't it's... find that I needed to. Okay. Yeah. So this thing is going to put out tremendous steam, huh? Yes. Okay. Just turn it open a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time at using this machine, as you can tell, folks. See what I'm saying? 
it makes more foam if you submerge that black rubber piece. Oh, look at that thing go. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee baby. I guess I'd have to get used to the foaming process to make sure that I didn't do the big old bubble Ow, like I'm doing man, it's hot. I know. There's a, there's a ton of... Yeah, I'd have to get used to using this. A little more milk in the container would have been better. Because I'm, I'm at the bottom down here. Yeah. And the thing is, is that, um, you know, this is technically made to do produce two cups and four cups. So I think larger pitchers are in order. Yeah, no kidding. I did the small one because I thought it would be good, but mm -hmm. a larger one would have been better, for sure. Yeah. But anyway. I steamed up a 32, and I still had steam to spare. You're kidding. A 32. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's really powerful. It's hot enough. Okay, so, so you can see it's not it's not going to be super beautiful, but maybe with some practice, a little yeah. more control, doing different milk. But the big thing I want us to show people is that everything is under intense pressure right now. Yeah. And before you remove the portafilter or open up the top, you have to release all the have steam. Have to, otherwise you'll blow. Yeah, and it's blow. and and it'll vary. We didn't use that much because that was a pretty small pitcher. But um, what Gail's going to do is basically show you how long it takes because. What it says in the directions, too, I want to show them that there's three holes on this. And if you submerge those holes, it makes more foam. And if you don't, it's uh, more steam oh, okay. into the milk. Interesting. Hot milk. Hmm. Yeah, we, were, we yeah. actually did some reading. I know. Fancy. Fancy pants, huh? Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of steam in that. Thing. I know. When I when I did mine, um, and I used that 32, I, I I still had so much more. I was like, I could have easily steamed a 56 pitcher with it. <laughs> <laughs> But what's cool is that you could do a lot of coffee, you know? Yeah, you can. You can get four shots, basically. I want to taste just the coffee itself. Ooh, can I taste some, too? Yeah, yeah take that. Thanks. Sure. I hope they can hear over that hissing noise. Yeah. Okay. It's really mocha. Really mocha pot. Yeah. Strong black coffee. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I think it's still making steam. I know. So I was like, you know, we always say there's a market for every machine. Yep. I thought this is perfect for people for that love stovetop coffee. They love that flavor. Um, but they want to do coffee with milk. Yeah, it's good. And this little baby's 60 bucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So what do now we we're think? finally getting the, the end. So I think that I, 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 look, I think people that are like cafe con leche, you know, they're not big on espresso. They want a little stronger cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. but I think that it's a good choice. And you don't have to do a big old pot. Exactly. Yeah. But it does take, well, it doesn't take as much as a drip machine. No. Not and also time. you can make theoretically four cups right now, right? Because it's a strong shot. They're strong. So, exactly. Yeah. You can put milk in it or you can actually put some hot water in it yeah. if you really wanted to. And so it's not, for making four cups of coffee at once, it's not that bad of a situation. I'm, I'm thirsty. Um, so now we're totally purged. Yep. So now we can take the portafilter out right. without risk of it exploding. See, if you, yeah, if you, if you were to take the portafilter out, this is under pressure from the steam. So you have to release it here yeah. before. There, we'll take you can a look see at where that. the. You can yeah. see right where the water went through. Mm -hmm. Little divots. Cool. Cool. All right, Gail. Whoa! Watch your toes. <laughs> ah. You guys didn't see that, but she doesn't have any <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> okay. All right. Take care. Thanks, Gail. Bye.